everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a great side dish recipe for these cold fall and winter months and this is apple cider braised butternut squash. Doesn't that sound pretty good? It does to me. So I'm using half of my Ontario butternut squash I got at Harvest Barn Country Markets. Make sure you check out my review on this guy. And I'm going to just peel the skin off the outside. Be sure you check out my show for how to toast butternut squash seeds. They're a great snack, don't waste them, and they've already been removed too. Don't throw out these uh, peelings either. Throw them in a resealable uh, plastic bag in your freezer for when you're making a flavorful soup or stew or vegetable broth, and you're good to go, okay? So I'm going to cut this butternut squash into chunks, and I'm gonna take out the stem and the bottom piece. All right, I'm going to cut them into maybe a two inch dice. And I'm gonna put them into a roasting or baking dish. Uh, I've already greased it up. You can grease it up with olive oil or you can spray it. I'm just doing chunks. All right, I'm going to toss these guys in a little bit of olive oil. And I'm also gonna add some butter, just because butter always tastes great in squash. But I just wanna coat these guys up quickly. I'm gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of cayenne pepper, some sea salt, and some freshly cracked black pepper. If you'd like to add onions to this, please feel free to do so. I'm just going to toss these guys up quickly again, make sure everything's nice and coated and spiced. I'm going to dab some butter on them. I'm going to toss this up halfway through, actually, and make sure that everything is coated with that butter, too. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and that's what I'm going to roast this on. I picked up some fresh Ontario sweet apple cider today at Harvest Barn Country Markets, and I'm going to pour, I don't know, Let's see. Maybe a cup and a half, two cups. I just want it to come up, I don't know, half an inch or so up on the uh, butternut Instead squash. Instead of being roasted in, in a dry heat, I'm going to roast them in a moist heat. I'm going to cover this with some aluminum foil. Make sure you spray that. And cover that up nicely. I've heard of this recipe done with pine nuts and onions and things. Uh, so if you'd like to do that, toast up your pine nuts first before adding all this to the roasting pan. Now this is going to go into my oven at 350 degrees for an, about an hour. I want them to be fork tender and it's going to be beautiful. All that um, apple cider is going to just infuse all kinds of beautiful flavor. If you wanted to add some apples with this, please feel free to do so. Cut them up, core them, peel them. Beautiful, right? So I'm going to check these guys in 30 minutes and make sure they're well coated with everything. Okay. All right, these have been going for about 30 minutes. Now open the foil away from you so you don't burn yourself. They look lovely. They're about halfway there. I'm going to toss these guys and make sure they're completely coated. With that butter and that apple cider. It smells great. Now that I've done this for 30 minutes with the uh, foil on, I'm gonna leave the foil off. I want some of that liquid to reduce in the apple cider and become a little bit thicker, and uh, I would like these to roast up and get a little bit browned on the top. So that's our plan, back in the oven for about 30 minutes, uncovered. Okay, this has been going an additional 30 minutes, and it looks good. I know it's tender, because I can just see it. Beautiful. So now what I'm gonna do, I have a little bit of uh, apple cider left, which is fine, but I'm going to broil this up for a couple minutes under high broiler, keep your eye on it. I like to keep my oven door ajar so that I can actually see in there. Um, I'm gonna let this go and just brown up a little bit on the top and caramelize. All right, this is done perfectly. That took about five minutes under the high broiler. Beautiful. Well, the only thing left to do is try it. Serve myself one up, a little bit of beautiful color. 
Now tonight we're having oven roasted turkey and brown sugar glazed baby carrots. Make sure you check out those recipes. Oh, it's just falls apart. That's exactly what I want. You've got a little bit of that caramelization. Look at how uh, beautifully tender that is. Oh, it's just gonna melt in my mouth, I know it. Mmm. Boy, that's good. Mm-hmm. It just melts in your mouth. You have that beautiful sweetness of the caramelization of that squash. Beautiful, um, with the apple flavor, it's just, it enhanced that. It's like those butternut squash just soaked up that apple flavor. Unreal. A little bit of spice. Fabulous. You could even add cinnamon to this. You could add ginger to this if you like. Even raw ginger. You could put um, fresh ginger, I should say. Lovely side dish. Beautiful addition to tonight's dinner. That's a beautiful side dish. You could serve this for the holidays. You could serve this at any time during the week. Really, really tasty way to enjoy squash and any kind of squash of the season, in fact. It would be nice with acorn squash or spaghetti squash or even pumpkin would be nice done this way. So that's how you do it, folks. That's how you cook apple cider braised butternut squash. Gorgeous side dish. I hope you, you try it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe, interact with us, and let us know what's going down in your kitchen. This is an adaptation of a recipe from one of my fans, Neil Devine. Thank you very much for, for this recipe. I just changed it a little bit, and I hope that everybody out there enjoys it and the one that you provided us with as well. Check it out on my discussion board on YouTube at YouTube.com slash CookingWithKimberly. All right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.